Today, we're going to speak about how to get into Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech in the city of Atlanta is an increasingly popular college to put on one's college list. And as a result, in recent years, Georgia Tech has seen its admissions rate plummet. What I will say is it's very hard to produce a one-size-fits-all video for how to get into Georgia Tech because, let's be frank, there are very different expectations for you depending on your demographics, and that cuts a lot of different ways, most notably in the manner of whether or not you are an in-state resident or an out-of-state resident. As a public university, Georgia Tech does give preference to in-state students. So much so that the acceptance rate was notably disparate in the most recent admission cycle between those who were accepted from in-state versus out-of-state. As reported by Georgia Tech itself, the admin rate for Georgia students was a robust 35%, but for non-Georgia students, the admin rate in 2021-2022 admission cycle was a paltry 13%. So knowing that, you have to remember, anytime you see a top line number, this is Georgia Tech's acceptance rate, laugh that number out of the, the room because that number is truly not indicative of what your shot of getting into Georgia Tech will be. If you're from Georgia, your shot is actually going to be much better than that number. And if you're not from Georgia, your shot of getting in is actually going to be much lower than that number because it's going to be an average number, that one number. So discount that right away and realize that there's also different acceptance rates for women versus men. Georgia Tech is one of the few notable, very selective institutions in the United States of America that still is top heavy with men. And as a result, there will be uh, affirmative action being practiced on behalf of women applicants. Now, with that said, you can't be a horrible applicant regardless of your state of residency or your gender or sex uh, in or, and still get into Georgia Tech. You're going to still have to put up or shut up, as they say, because you do want to have the strongest application possible. And that's what really what this video is about today. Regardless of what your demographics are, your immutable characteristics that you cannot change, what we want to focus on today is what you can change, what you can affect. You have agency in this process, and I'm going to help you try to run the table on all the things that you still do have control with so that you can get in to Georgia Tech. Tip number one, I can't believe I'm saying this, but now that Georgia Tech has become such a selective institution, I need you to read my article, How to Get into the Ivy League Ethically. Georgia Tech is definitely not an Ivy League school. It's a public institution in Georgia, in Atlanta. However, it has become very, 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 very selective for out-of-state students, so it has gotten into the category, into that stratospheric category where I can say, if you follow all of the advice in my article of how to get into the Ivy League ethically, which is linked below this video, you are going to set a very strong table for yourself going into your senior year to be the most competitive applicant possible for a school like Georgia Tech. I'll also just give props to Georgia Tech for being one of a handful of schools in the country here in the year 2022 that is test required. You do need to submit your SAT or ACT scores to be considered for admission for Georgia Tech. And what type of scores are they looking for? Well, again, it's going to be different depending if you're an in-state applicant versus an out-of-state applicant and your exact major and you know your demographics and other ways, shapes, and forms as well. We could write a book on all that. But what I will say is the higher score, the better. I would be very leery to apply from out-of-state to Georgia Tech with a score in the low 1400s or lower. I would definitely try to aim for higher than that to give yourself the very best shot of getting into Georgia Tech as an out-of-state student. As an in-state student, still aim for 1400 or higher, definitely sort of mid 1400s or higher. Uh, but of course, it may not be as necessary because they are much more forgiving to in-state applicants than they are to out-of-state applicants. Tip number two, Georgia Tech does not, does not allow you to upload an extracurricular resume to its supplement on the common application. However, I strongly encourage you to not only complete the activities page on the common portion of the common application, but also copy and paste from a Google Doc or a Word Doc a 650 word resume into the additional information section of the Common Apps writing page. This is located all the, all the way at the bottom of the Common Apps writing page. Below the optional COVID essay, you see a question that says sort of something to the effect of, do you have anything else you want to share? If you say no, nothing will appear and you'll just move on. If you say yes, 
a new window will appear where you can copy and paste in 650 words. You want to plug in a 650 word resume there to share more depth and breadth about your extracurricular activities throughout your high school career in the summers during your high school career to learn how to put together a beautiful extracurricular resume. And I would go so far as to say an extraordinary extracurricular resume. Why don't you take my hour long, it's actually less than an hour long, how to build an extraordinary extracurricular resume short course, which again is linked below this video that will help you really differentiate yourself in the extracurricular realm. Now let's get into the actual discussion of the more nerve wracking writing that most Georgia Tech applicants are going to have to complete, most notably the Common App Essay and the Georgia Tech specific essay. The Common App Essay should not be discounted. You want to do the best job you can on that Common App Essay. Again, read my article, How, uh, How to Get into the Ivy League Ethically, to, which talks about writing skills. But I want to just touch on that briefly with the Common App Essay. Many techie people, I hate to be stereotypical, Many engineers, many people who go and apply to tech schools often don't prioritize and have been able to get away throughout their K-12 through career without having to prioritize getting really strong, deeply honed writing skills. That's not going to be you, hopefully, because you really do want to take the time necessary to craft a personal persuasive essay in the Common App essay, which again gives you 650 words with which to work. Um, and hopefully the spotlight on that essay is all on you and, and how you've grown, how you've changed, what your value system is, etc. Don't discount that. Don't rush through that and say, well, applying to Georgia Tech, they care more about the supplemental essay. Well, yes, they do care about the supplemental essay, but Georgia Tech does want to accept the most impressive candidates across the board. And one thing that really separates strong applicants from, at Georgia Tech from weak applicants at Georgia Tech are the ones who think that they can just be sort of the stereotypical techie guy and doesn't have to be that socially normal uh, and therefore maybe the, not most communicative. No, you need to communicate at a high level. You have to hold yourself to the highest level possible. And therefore, I really want you to take the Common App essay seriously. I have a lot of other videos about the Common App that you should watch in order to learn how to knock that one out of the park. But now let's talk, finally, about the supplement to Georgia Tech in particular. Georgia Tech allows you to indicate whether or not you want to be considered for both fall admission and fall and summer admission. I strongly encourage you, if you have eyes only for Georgia Tech and your goal is to run the table and get into that baby, you want to actually click on fall or summer you would be willing to go. Don't just click on fall. Now, yes, a lot of people are socially focused on, oh, I don't want to go to college faster than my friends, or I want to enjoy the last summer after my senior year. That sounds lovely in the short term, but if your end goal is to get into Georgia Tech, they're accepting people both for fall and summer. Give yourself the shot of increasing your chances so that you get considered for both. Do not just click fall. Click fall and summer in order to be considered for both terms. If it means you're going to graduate from Georgia Tech, both are definitely worth applying for. The next tip on the supplement is, of course, you've got to be honest about your residency. Don't lie there because they're going to be able to figure it out. Uh, you need to be honest about your residency. But then beyond that, Georgia Tech also has another opportunity for students. And I encourage you to seriously consider saying yes to this question as well, which is a select number of entering Georgia Tech students will have the opportunity to complete their first fall semester as part of our first year semester abroad program, otherwise known as FYSA. Would you be interested in spending your fall 2023 semester as part of Georgia Tech's FYSA program? Yes, yes, say yes, because again, they're just trying to fill holes here, you know, and you want to be considered for as many holes as they're looking to fill. And I want you to say yes to that question. I mean, I guess if you're just completely scared to leave the country, say no, but if you really want to get into Georgia Tech, say yes, because that's going to give you more options uh, in terms of being considered for first year admission at Georgia Tech. And you have the opportunity to gallivant around Europe as well. So that's a win-win in my opinion, uh, because once you get back to Atlanta, it's going to be nose to the grindstone because Georgia Tech is, you know, a pretty rigorous school. Uh, so you might as well enjoy a little jaunt through Europe. 
The next question that I want to focus on is the Georgia Tech essay. It's very short, but again, a lot of students applying to Georgia Tech are the types of students who have deprioritized or not focused on writing over their 12-year primary and secondary schooling career. So even though it's short, this could be really hard for a lot of Georgia Tech applicants, even if they're capable of getting a 1570 on the SAT or 34 on the ACT or whatever, writing personally is not an art of many of the typical applicants uh, to Georgia Tech. Um, it's not an art that they often will have at, at, at the higher, at the prevalence of a school that's not a tech school. Let's just put it that way. Again, this is not to be cruel, it's not to be mean, it's just to be real. I've worked with many applicants to Georgia Tech, and on average, they are far weaker communicators of what's going on in their heart and in their mind uh, than those students who are applying, for instance, to schools like Swarthmore and schools like Haverford and Williams and Pomona. So as a result, you really want to not rush through answering this prompt, which they give you 300 words with which to respond. Why do you want to study your chosen major specifically at Georgia Tech? By the way, I love this prompt. Finally, a prompt. Very few schools of this caliber ask direct questions anymore. So at least I really, really appreciate that. It's probably an engineer who asked the question. Um, but whoever came up with it, thank you. Thank you. Because it's a direct question. And you really have to intentionally try to screw it up to screw it up, in my opinion. Focus this 300-word essay on painting a picture of you as a student and as a person engaging in opportunities that are specific to Georgia Tech. Don't just say, I'm in love with this subfield of engineering, and then write a love letter for 300 words about engineering. And don't also write a letter about how much you love Atlanta and how much you want to be in a vibrant southern city. No. What you need to do here is read the prompt and keep that prompt at the top of the page as you type. Why do you want to study your chosen major specifically at Georgia Tech? So you have two goals. you got to show passion and love for that major, and hopefully you can draw on current motivations, but also maybe one or two bits of evidence from the past that prove that this is not something that you just pulled out of a hat for this application. Uh, but you also need to really be forward-looking. You need to be focusing on how you envision pursuing that major as a Georgia Tech student. Mention a course name or a professor name or a type of research you feel like you're going to get involved in that's going on at Georgia Tech to augment the major you're going to be studying at Georgia Tech. So you've got to provide curricular specific anecdotes that actually prove to the reader at Georgia Tech that you don't just want to study this type of engineering, for instance, at Georgia Tech, because they offer that type of engineering at a lot of other schools. You need to show how you would pursue it uniquely at Georgia Tech with Georgia Tech-specific details. Uh, so that's really, really important. Do not go off on a tangent and start talking about the campus. Not for this one. You only have 300 words, and you need to focus on why you want to study that major, and specifically at Georgia Tech. The first paragraph will be one or two sentences, and it should include a thesis, summarizing what the body is going to prove. Then the body paragraph is going to be, what, three to five sentences, uh, maybe six, um, where you're showing yourself taking advantage of particular opportunities that are Georgia, Georgia Tech specific and specific to your major. And then the concluding sentence or two is not going to just restate the thesis or restate the introduction in new words. It's going to say something new that makes you more likable or thoughtful in the eyes of the admissions reader or the application reader uh, and basically leaves them wanting more of you. Um, that's the way in which I would approach tackling this. Show it to people you trust. Obviously, if you work with me, I'll help you proofread it. We'll go line by line to make sure every line of this little essay is as strong as it can be and should be. I always say you want to cut all the fat and only keep the muscle. That is very possible. Every sentence has to be carrying its own weight. And if there's a sentence that's not doing so, it needs to be cut. Every sentence has to serve a purpose in such a short essay at a school that has become increasingly selective. If you do all the things that we talked about in this video, you have given yourself the best shot of getting in 
to Georgia Tech. My name is Craig Meister. I'm a college admissions coach. You can find more out about me at my website, collegemeister.com. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel because I do these as many times as I can fit them into my schedule to help students around the world navigate the U.S. admissions process at the most selective schools in the country as successfully as possible. Possible, excuse me. Keep watching. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and good luck getting in to Georgia Tech.